Hello VC, this is Chris. I'm back to do uh, a video response to Big Star 1000's Give Me 10 thread. Uh, he just published 1987. So this is uh, my response. Uh, 10 albums from the year 1987. So I'll start off with uh, two compilations that uh, are just in addition to the 10 that I'm going to show. First one is uh, Wendy Carlos, Secrets of Synthesis. This was issued in 1987, but it takes selections off of nine uh, earlier albums and just uh, puts tippets on there to illustrate points. You know, some original compositions and some are uh, reworkings of uh, classical composers. And this is on the... Uh, FM label, uh, CBS. And the next one is on the Sub Rosa label. This is uh, Myth 3, The New Serenity, but it's in French. Uh, John Hassel does a, a track. Harold Budd does two tracks. Gavin Briars does a track, and then they have another soundscape of some type. So. I didn't really, I'm not including this one, but I wanted to show it. The Sub Rosa label. Now the uh, official 10. Start out with uh, French TV. After a lengthy silence, this is a progressive rock band out of uh, Louisville, Kentucky. And it's on the uh, pretentious dinosaur label. French TV. And then we have French Frith, Kaiser, and Thompson with the album Live, Live Love Larflo, Live Love Larflo. I don't know. But uh, this is on Rhino Records. So Richard Thompson's involved. So parts of it sound like Richard Thompson doing his uh, singer songwriter guitar based folk songs, other part that's uh, more avant-garde, uh, I guess the Frith and uh, Kaiser influence. The Rhino label. And then uh, Husker Du. Warehouse songs, warehouse songs and stories. This is on uh, Warner Brothers, a two LP set. For some reason, mine's not in a gatefold. I don't know if they issued it that way. It looks like it should be, but very good. They're getting more melodic as they go. And uh, next one is Hugo Largo, drum. So this is a drumless described as an art rock band. Uh, Michael Stipe from R.E.M. is the producer. It's issued on the uh, Brian Eno's, you know, says it was on Opal label, but this one's Relativity. So it's a uh, good uh, sparse in in instrumentation, kind of moody. And we have Peter Newton and Michael Brook, Sleeps with the Fishes. This is on the 4AD label. Uh, from what I read, Peter Newton it was uh, part of Clan of Zymox. And so they put together this 
album here, which is nice electronic. Ambient rock or 4AD sound rock. Peter Newton and Michael Brook. And then uh, another anthology, even though this includes one new song on it, so maybe that allows it for me to show it. Uh, Legendary Pink Dots, Stone Circles. The songs from 82 to 87, including the new one composed in 87. This is on uh, Play It Again Sam record label. And then the final four. Penguin Cafe Orchestra, Signs of Life. So acoustic chamber music type. This is on the Editions EG label. Can't even see that. Too much glare. And then uh, Alpha 3, Agartha. This is a one man band. Amir Cantusio Jr., I think he's from Brazil. This is on the Faunus label, so uh, lots of uh, keyboards. In fact, that's other than percussion, that seems to be it, the whole album. And then the Bevis Frond, Inner Marshland. So guitar, bass, psychedelia. This is on the Warren Zell label. And then the final one, uh, John Cage, Etudes, Australius for piano, Greek Sultan playing. This is a four LP box set on the Wergo label. This was uh, based on maps of the stars as seen from Australia. And then John Cage applied his I Ching logic to it to uh, come up with the notation and produce these uh, piano etudes. So, John Cage. And that's my 10 for 1987. So thanks everybody and I'll see you later.